Hi, thanks for joining us for Courtside with Coach Coleman. I'm Kaden Jornet. And today, we have joining us is the head coach of Sulphur High Basketball, Adam Coleman. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thank you, Caden. I feel like this is the best time of the year. Uh, we're excited to get started, and uh, we appreciate y'all having us. Y'all always do such a great job uh, here at CPSB TV, and I'm very appreciative of everything y'all have done for us. Coach, the team started off the season with a winning streak. Tell us about it. Yeah, we got off to a great start for the season. Uh, we opened up 5-0 and on the year. Um, a lot of that has to do with the preparation that our players have put in all the way back during the summer. Uh, we had a great summer season, uh, and then the preseason condition once school started uh, really propelled us into um, being hungry and uh, eager to get the season started, and uh, they did. They came out playing great. We executed very well on the defensive end of the floor and uh, the offensive side of it started to come along as well. And so uh, really proud of the start they had. They created a little bit of a buzz um, around the state uh, about Sulphur High School basketball again. And so, uh, yeah, we, we couldn't be more proud of our guys for the start that we came out to. Sulphur was ranked number one in the state for a couple of weeks. How exciting was that for the team? That was a really neat experience. We had, I woke up one morning uh, with a text message from one of our players. Uh, showing me a picture of the power ranking and uh, Sulphur set at number one at the highest division in the state of Louisiana. And so uh, that's really neat. It's early in the year to start looking at some of those things. Uh, but for where we have come from with this particular senior class uh, to where they are currently, uh, we're still in the top 10 in the state. Uh, that was a great experience. I think that's a testament to the amount of work that this senior class has put in and the legacy that those guys before them has left behind. Um, has brought us to where we're at. Um, and so, yeah, it, like I said, it's early to start looking at some of those things, but a really neat experience for our guys to get to experience that. We set at number one for about two weeks, and uh, we're just gonna keep fighting our way to get back to that top spot. The team has won the last four games. Yeah, we're on a little bit of a win streak. Um, we, we start out 5-0, and like we had mentioned. Uh, we had a little bit of a bump in the road there. We had a few unexpected things happen, uh, just like all teams are gonna go through a little bit of adversity. Uh, and I think we got maybe a little complacent, a little comfortable where we're at with such a hot start. And so uh, sometimes when we don't win, we learn. And so we had some really good learning experiences that got us back focused. And um, we were able to take our first loss was to Lacassine High School at Lacassine. And um, one week later to the day, um, we were able to avenge that loss and uh, ended up winning that game by, I want to say, 35 points. And so it just goes to show uh, if we show up focused and well prepared, uh, what they're capable of doing. Uh, so we started our new win streak with that win. And uh, we've had several uh, really good wins since then against teams who are going to win a lot of games. Uh, and at the end of the year, we're going to look back on this win streak we're on now and see that uh, these wins are helping us get really good placement into the playoffs. Uh, one of the goals our guys have set is hosting a first round playoff game this year and uh, winning a playoff game. And so uh, they're doing the things that they need to do to be able to set that up for ourselves. Who in the team has played well so far? We have had um, a, a lot of guys that have played well so far this season. Um, we have a few guys I would like to mention. Uh, Xavier Trent is leading us in uh, charges, which is probably the biggest stat that we, we like to keep. Um, we feel like that's a uh, stat that shows sacrifice of the body. They, uh, they give themselves up for the team, uh, which is a, a turnover for the opponent. Uh, we get the ball back, a foul on one of their uh, better players a lot of times. and so. Uh, that's a stat we take a lot of pride in. And uh, Xavier Trent's leading us in that. He's also leading us in assist. Um, we have a few guys, um, Cole Navarre and Zachary Bates, uh, two other seniors who have rebounded the ball incredibly well for us. And uh, we feel like that one stat usually is a great indication of whether or not we're going to win ball games. If we're leading uh, that rebound more, then uh, a lot of times that's going to lead to a win on the scoreboard for us as well. And so those two guys have done a great job rebounding the ball for us. Uh, Zachary Bates and Ian Malone have both shot the ball incredibly well from the three-point line for us this year. Uh, Dwayne Deldridge has uh, done a great job taking good shot selections and has uh, one of the higher field goal percentages for us. But what we really like to see is those games that we have won and played really well in, just great balance and scoring. We've had five guys in double digits uh, in multiple games this year. And uh, like I said, our team defense, it requires all five guys on the floor working together. And when we're at our best, uh, those five guys are in unison and uh, doing a great job defensively. And, you know, I'd, I'd be um, 
you know, wrong in, in not mentioning our guys who have led to the preparation. We have a number of guys who may not even uh, get a, a ton of minutes, may not step on the floor, but without them, our varsity uh, starters are nowhere near ready to go out there and execute in the games. And so, again, we've got 20 guys in our varsity, JV to varsity program, and every single one of those guys have value and have uh, contributed to the start that we've gotten off to. What does the team have to do to continue that success? Yeah, we, we've got to continue to show up every day and practice uh, and get a little bit better every day, just a little bit better. And um, the schedule progressively gets tougher as we go, um, designed that way. And um, they're, they're ready for some of those challenges that are coming up. Uh, we've got to continue offensively. Um, we, we've got a new offensive system in this year. And so as we get more games under our belt, get a little more chemistry and, and just get a little more comfort, in trusting our teammates and moving the ball uh, better, uh, that's going to continue to get um, to get better. Uh, defensively, we got to get back to our identity. Um, who we were last year and the success we had last year uh, was on the defensive end of the floor. We were fortunate to hold our opponents to the lowest uh, point total or, or point average in each one of our district games uh, this past year. And so, uh, I really think that's who we are. Uh, I think we have an opportunity to be even better defensively this year than what we were last year. And so I think that's a key for us as we move forward. Uh, but, you know, and then the other thing is just the mental side of it. Uh, we need to be at our best when our best is required. Basketball is a long season. It's a tough season. We're playing four to five games uh, in a span of a week right now. And so uh, it's easy to be banged and bumped and bruised and, and, uh, and tired. Uh, but the other team isn't concerned about that. And so we've got to show up and be able to give our best when our best is required. And that's going to be required every single night from our guys. And so, uh, you know, for us to continue to have success, that's, that's what we need to continue to do. You have a tournament, tournament coming up next week. We do. We're really excited about this. It's called the Bayou Border Battle. And uh, it's going to feature a premier team from Texas versus a premier team from Louisiana. It's a two-day event uh, starting on Monday, December the 19th at 3.30. Uh, we, the host school, Sulphur High School, will play Vider High School at 7.30 on Monday night. Uh, prior to that game, we have a really, really big time matchup between Peabody and Summer Creek out of the Houston area. Uh, the next night features uh, some really good games with um, the nightcap being the 5A state champions out of Louisiana, Zachary High School versus the 5A state champions out of Texas, Beaumont United, who also happens to have one of the top players in the nation. And so if you're a basketball fan in this area, you're definitely going to come out to uh, see some great basketball on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, it's a $10 admission, uh, no clearing of the gym, so you can come pay $10 and see multiple games throughout both of those days. Uh, we'll have great concessions. We'll have some uh, hot foods there. So no need to leave. You can uh, enjoy games and eat dinner um, while you're there at the gym. It's at the Legacy Center in, uh, on McNeese State Campus, which is one of the nicest facilities uh, in the state of Louisiana, if not in, in the south uh, part of the United States. And so very fortunate to McNeese State University for allowing us to host this big event there uh, at a, just a beautiful facility. Thanks, Coach. Thank this, you. That's all our time. Thanks for joining us. See you all next time.